to wear and what not to wear on a cruise. <laughs> why should I consider why I'm going to be dressing um, in on a cruise? I should consider only wearing sundresses and shorts and bikinis and a few towels and maybe a pair of pants or a dress outfit. That's all I should take. And heels if I want and sandals and flip flops. That's all I should think I should take. That is true. That is the way it ought to be. But there are days like where it's cloudy, windy, and a little bit of rain. So they don't turn off the air conditioning. Say that again. They don't turn off the air conditioning inside. Right. So that is point number one. Why you should consider what you're gonna wear because it's cold on the ship. They're trying to keep, you know, people from getting sick as well as keeping the temperature cool and breezy because it's usually hot outside in the Caribbean, right? The sun is closer to us at that point, true enough. But when we come in, it is nice and cold. You take a shower and all those things and you're feeling really good. But that evening time, everyone isn't in the same place as well as all over the ship. And because of COVID-19, it seems that it's not that many people on board. So you're going to have those cold days where it's less people and then you're going to have the warmer times when there's more people in a room, right? So anyway, I would suggest you bring a long sleeve, thin, but long sleeve comfortable. And uh, what else? And maybe a jacket. Ladies, bring your sparkly stuff because we want our sparkle shine, right? That's what it's all about. Looking cool, looking dazzling. And what else, Andre? What do you and want to say? Especially if you're in the Pacific, not the Caribbean. Okay, that's right. We're in Trans Pacific. So, I don't, can you tell me a little bit about what that means? Because the difference between Trans Pacific and well, Caribbean. Tra trans means we're across the Pacific Ocean. Okay, so we're going across the Pacific. The Caribbean is in the Atlantic Ocean on the other side of the United States of America. Okay, so thank you for helping me in my brain part. Um, listen, ain't no shame in showing up game. Remember I tell y'all, I'm learning too. So, you know, we've been on several cruises. I am definitely challenged in the uh, topography, uh, land, uh, what is the map? Direction. I'm directionally challenged. But because every time we are in the water, it looks like we're in the Caribbean to me, right? So I didn't know that was the difference between the Caribbean and Trans Pacific. It all looks like when you're on the water. But we should know where we're going. So back to what I was saying before we got interrupted with my language. Um, sandals. Yes, you want to wear your sandals. I would recommend several different pair of flip flops and nice cute sandals for dress up nights. But heels, can I say hell to the no on the heels? Why? Because you're going from one side of the ship to the other side and it might be 0.3 of a mile, okay? From the aft to the forward or forward to the aft, whichever one you are on. And you, and you might be rocking, but you just don't want to wear the heels because even on dress up night, dress up, with a nice cute sandal or a little tiny pump is perfect, okay? There's dancing on the ship. There's um, just a lot of walking from to and fro. So even after you eat, you're gonna walk away to get to your room. So be comfortable in your shoes attire. Uh, I would suggest bring a couple of pair of jeans. Again, you don't know what the weather is gonna be like. And if it's cool inside, bring a, oh, bring a little umbrella. Because even when we're going to eat, you have to travel across the, um, you know, from one side of the ship to the other to get to your food. Um, what else, babe? What else? We'll talk through comfort, comfort. Yes, comfort. always comfort. Always yeah. have a couple outfits, ladies, to dress um, casual but fun, or even if you, fun, yeah. or even if you, right, and even if you're dressing up, you still want to be fun and comfortable. Comfortability is really what it's all about. I know, we dress to impress each other. Um, my husband jokes about it, but he said women dress for women. <laughs> Men don't care. Well, I dress for me, and I want others to enjoy the way I look, too. So that's what I dress for. So if it's to impress somebody, then God forgive me, because he should be the only one I impress. 
um, but I do like to look nice, right? So, hey, I think that's it. We're going to end it right here. Don't forget to like, leave a comment. If you have any questions, please leave that in the comments below. Do subscribe to my channel for show love. Don't keep it real with you. We're only in day three of the 18 night cruise and it's raindrop just landed on my lap. So we're gonna head on inside, okay? Let me get you one more look. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe. You'll see me in my next video. Thanks for watching. Another book note or a plus to have is a walkie talkie. Cause you don't always have to be on your phone, but your partner may be somewhere else on the ship. And if you say, hey, over, he'll answer or she will answer. Just doing a quick video, letting the people know it's good to have a walkie talkie. Over. See? You don't need your phone. And I'll tell you a little bit about Boom in a little bit. Thanks for watching.